Hello guys, what's up? It's Cody the Dragon Samurai here, and today I'm going to be doing something completely different from, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, Beyblade, and even Pokemon. Today I'm going to be doing a review with this, which is the Power Rangers Power Morpher with Power Coins. This is the new movie Morpher, by the way, as you can probably tell by that image of the Red Ranger there and the logo and everything. So, here's a closer look at the packaging. So, of course, you get the logo right here, which says Saban's Power Rangers. You get the Bandai logo, what age group it's meant for. Here's where the Morpher is, along with all the Power Coins here. And there's a little sign there that's telling you to, you know, try it out and stuff. There's the title of the actual toy itself. And then, here's a picture of the Red Ranger looking all awesome and stuff. And there's some warnings there in a couple languages. Along with telling you what the set includes and that the toy itself has lights and sounds. So here we just saw the front. So here's the sides. Again, a picture of the Red Ranger with the Bandai logo and the age group. Same thing on the other side as well. And here's the back of the thing. Showing you what you have in the set. Tells you how to work the morpher, and you know the light and sound gimmicks and all that stuff. Plus the five coins with the five dinosaurs. We have the Tyrannosaurus, Mastodon, or Mammoth, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, and Pterodactyl. Power coins in. So without further ado, let's unbox this puppy. And so here's everything out of its box. <laughs> So, first of all, let's take a look at the Morpher first. And as you can see, it kind of has this rockish design, looking very alien and such, and there's the little, little hole where you put the coins in, in, coins in, and there's a little lever here that allows you to use the Morpher's lights and sound feature. So when you open it, you'll know when you like push that forward, you'll notice that some of these parts will move. And when you close it, these things kind of close like a camera lens and the middle will spin. And here's the sides of the morpher. And here's the back of it. And as you notice, there's a little belt clip here. I love this speaker. And a little thing there where you can unscrew it to insert two AAA batteries in if the, the power is running low. And with this clip you can you know basically use it to put it on your pants or even your belt and use it as a belt buckle. Just like in the original series. This is a really cool morpher. It's very easy to use, very pretty comp Pretty medium sized, lightweight, and whatever. I'll probably do a second part where I am actually wearing this. So now for the five power coins you get in this set. So here's the T Rex power coin, and it kind of has that cool look of the, you know, being in case of in amber and such, and you notice there's the actual dinosaur inside. Flip it over and it kind of looks a little blurred on this side. But you know, flip it this way and the picture is crystal clear. And so here are the other power coins. By the way, this one's for the T-Rex, so here's the Mastodon. Triceratops, and you also might have noticed it has kind of a transparent effect. If I shine it in the light somehow, you'll see what I mean. Yep, you could definitely kind of see what I mean. I fix the angle. So yeah, there's Triceratops. We also have the saber-toothed tiger. 
which is a little hard to see. You might not be able to see it. Perhaps if I shine it in the light. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but there it is. And last but not least, the pterodactyl. So yeah, all these coins are, I believe, made of AB, with PVC, maybe clear ABS or something, I don't know. All, of course, are pretty small and lightweight. All these coins may not be exactly like the ones featured in the movie, but they're a nice representation of the actual power coins in the movie. And for sound effects, like to activate the morpher, you just, there's a little switch under here, so when you turn it on, you get this. That is a little loud, I must say. I can imagine that some people's ears would ring if they just listened to that thing, so it's kind of a bummer, but eh. And also, you might have noticed, when you turn it on, the little lights inside lights up. And so, when you open, you get this. A little standby noise. And when you close it, you get that. So I'm just going to turn this off just to, you know... The way you use this thing is in, have it interact with the power coin. So you take a power coin, which in this case will be the T-Rex, and just clip it in like so. And... And when you, that is kind of what it sounds like when you close the morpher. So when you actually want to morph, you just have to move this, move this back and forth twice, like this. Um, actually, a little bit quicker. Yeah, that's really cool, but a little boring sometimes, I must say. But it's pretty cool effect nonetheless, so you may be asking, how do you take the coins out if you don't want to switch? So if it's if the morpher's closed like this, you just open it up and there's a little gap right here that you can put your finger in and you just lift the coin out. That's it. And so, there you saw what the morpher would look like with the T-Rex, so... I'll show you what it's like with the other power coins. Keep in mind that the sound effects... For, for each... It doesn't matter which coin you put in, it's gonna make the same sound effects, so... But the light show can be different, so here we go. Oh, and also when you take out the coins, sometimes the standby noise will stop until you either close this and pull it back, or, you know, you put in another coin like so. And here's the Triceratops morphing sequence. That is supposed to be blue, if you're wondering. And so here's the saber tooth tiger, which should be a little, you know, clearer on camera.
Yeah, you can definitely see the dinosaur better here. And last but not least, Pterodactyl! Okay, so now I'm gonna cut away and show you what the morpher looks like on my belt. Or, you know, pants or whatever. So here is the morpher attached to my belt. And yeah, it looks really nice in it. You know, it's pretty lightweight, honestly. It doesn't, you know, feel heavy. It kind of tilts down a little bit, but it's okay. So now, let's morph. Red Ranger Power Horn, lock in. It's morphin' time. And that is pretty much it. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, I like it. The Morpher itself is a nice size. It has a, some pretty cool gimmicks, and the power coins are actually pretty cool to, you know, hold and look at. They might not be exactly like the ones in the movie, like I said, but they're a good representation of them. So I would recommend to, you pick this up to a young, like, Power Rangers fan as a gift. I think the kids are going to like it. It's a simple but cool toy, I must say. And... Like I said, I'm pretty sure the kids are going to have a lot of fun playing with it. I would rate the Power Morpher toy a solid 8 out of 10, I would say. It's a good toy with some cool features, but, you know, some problems. One of them being that the volume is a little loud, and when you put in a power coin, the sound effects and light show won't change. But, it's still cool! Thanks for watching my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. And yeah, this is Cody the Dragon Samurai, signing off.